Hey, what's going on guys? G.Casey here with some more Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play videos. Now, this one is going to be um, a bit of a... What's the right way to word this? Like, I'm, I'm going to be taking a bit of a sharp turn here. So, we were in the middle of this quest, but um, instead what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to Limza Laminza. And we're going to become a Marauder today. Now, this is going to be a shorter episode because... Well, I actually wasn't really planning on recording today. The thing is is I did want to play some Final Fantasy and I did want to start leveling up the Marauder. We're getting pretty close to where we are actually going to um like we're we're going to actually want to start leveling this up anyway because soon we'll be ready to be a dragoon. But <clears throat> we're not there quite yet with the Lancer. Uh, but today is a day where it's incredibly hot in my office where I record all these videos and I need to have the air conditioner on, and this has actually been a little bit of a problem um, in the past where, like, at least over the course of the past two weeks, one of the reasons why I've been just recording less is because it gets so hot in here. And let me show you something. So if I was to record while leaving the air conditioner on, this is what you guys would have to deal with. Oops, I'm running the wrong way here. So I'm sure that... Like, I don't know if it's overpoweringly loud or anything like that, but it's definitely a noise that I don't want to have to deal with on a regular basis uh, while I'm recording, for sure. So, I haven't been able to have it on while recording, and after about 20 minutes or so of that thing being off, it just gets a little bit unbearable in here. And, you know, we're in August, we're almost finished um, with uh, summertime, and we've just been hit with this sort of mini heat wave lately, so... It's been really, really hot in this room, so I haven't been recording as often, but as soon as September comes around, we'll definitely be recording more often, and I'm still going to, you know, suck it up and deal with the heat and record and things, but just right now, um, I've been taking a bit of a... Well, essentially, what I want to do today is I want to take the Marauder class quest to become a Marauder, and then just sort of show you guys how that's done, because some of you might be new to the game and not quite... Um, familiar with how we can do that so that's why I wanted to get this on camera and then what I'll do is I'll just sort of do some grinding some fates and some leave quests and things while I level it up right now I'm looking for a shop maybe you'll sell or buy things from me I think so so what I want to do and this is kind of important now so keeping some of these things might be useful but for me honestly I just sell them all and we're gonna keep what we have equipped which is the Iron Lance, so we're not going to sell the Iron Lance, but we are going to sell everything else that we no longer need. Because when you start to switch between classes, you can find yourself with just a ton of um, inventory crap all over the place. Like, even all this stuff. The thing is, the Marauder might be able to wear it, but I'm actually just going to get rid of it all anyway. Because I don't mind having to purchase new... Oh, can't sell that one. I don't mind having to purchase new equipment for the new class. Oh, can't sell that one either. That's the goblin head. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to wear that for a while. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's probably a stupid idea to do this, but I would prefer this... Oh wait, isn't that my starting gear? Yeah. I would prefer this over having to deal with a super clogged up... Oh, man, I hate that you can't do that. So I move these down here. Some of these things you just can't get rid of. I hate dealing with a clogged up inventory is what I'm trying to say. And especially once you start going from class to class, you just end up with like all this crap that you don't need. And it makes a mess. So I'm just kind of showing you guys how I do it. And once I'm done with this, we will... I'll show you guys also how to set a gear set, which is incredibly important if you're going to be swapping between different uh, different classes fairly often, especially if you're like a crafter or a, a gatherer. <coughs> Excuse me, a gatherer. Um, this is something you'll definitely want to get into the habit of, and I'm sure you probably are already in the habit of it because you would have noticed the first time that you made that mistake that you never ever want to do it again. Whoops, don't want to equip that. Okay, so finally we've got things cleaned up in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit our character button, which is C, and this little button right here, gear set list. If we click this, it shows us all the gear sets we have, where right now we don't have any. But this little plus up here, boom, 
it just saved everything that my Lancer has equipped right now. So, that is important because we're going north. When we head to the Marauders Guild and take the quest, we're going to lose all our gear. Now, I was thinking about including the class quests for the other classes in here as well, but I think I'm going to go ahead and say, no, I'm not going to do that. So we're not going to read all this stuff, even though it probably is interesting. Um, I just don't want... I mean, it would be cool to do that. Maybe in the future with another character, we'll come back and, and do some of that stuff. Maybe. I don't know, man. That's, uh, that's something we're talking about a long time from now. Um... But it would just be too inconvenient. Like when I, there are times where I enjoy the, enjoy playing this game without recording, and if that's the case, then I'd love to be able to come on some of my alts and just level them up. Um, you know, while I'm listening to a podcast or watching a YouTube series or something, which it just so happens today I'm able to do that. So um, it'll allow me some extra things I can do while not recording in the background. So this is the Axe Master, kind of the uh, guild leader for the Marauders. I am prepared for carnage. Alright, sweet. So you just do that, you take the quest, and right now we're still a lancer, but as soon as we actually equip this axe, we will become a marauder, and that's what this is all about. So control I to open this up. Now, he's gonna get naked here. I'm not really trying to zoom in too much to see a naked little boy, I promise, but there we go. Armory bonus right on his face. So, we have the axe. Now, actually, I should have totally read that, that armory bonus thing, but... Um, I believe what that means is when you are um, a lower level class, you get an experience bonus when you're leveling it up, up until you hit your max level class. So, in this case, it would be like our, our uh, 25, 24 Lancer. We'll get an experience bonus as we level up until we hit level 24 on the Marauder. Oh man, this is so sad, all these zeros. On Creature these all have at least something in them. And we hope that for we got here. But yeah, so let's go ahead and we'll we'll accept the quest here and we'll do our first quest here as the uh, Marauder. Which is probably gonna be just go out and kill a few things. Yeah, that's usually what it is. But before we do that, what do we got here? How are we gonna handle this? <clears throat> we are supposed to head out this way, I think, or hold on. Middle Lanosia is where we're going. And that leads to lower. Yeah, I think if we actually head down, we will end up being able to go to Middle Lanosia. And I think there's some extra shops down there. Because I don't want to run out there looking like a little boy in his underwear here, so. It is here somewhere, yeah. I think that's it. Oh man, sprint is not, I'm trying to sprint here and it's not even in the right spot. See, whenever you change your uh, class, it messes with your hotbar too. Which is pretty annoying, but it's not too bad. The worst thing is when you like play the game for a while and then you take a break and then you come back and you're like, okay, well I want to tank a dungeon. And then you log into Creature Door and then all of her hockeys are reset. <clears throat> and nowhere to be found, and you have to do everything from scratch and try to remember where everything was. There's our little wind ship. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'll head over to the market board. This is probably not the smart way to do it, to be honest. Anyone else here? <clears throat> Let's see. Tradecraft, independent, apothecary, culinarian, battle supplier, or battlecraft supplier? Maybe this guy. Can we get some level 1 stuff here? Level 5. Okay, we can't get any level 1 stuff, but we can get level 5 stuff. That is not the most helpful. Let's put on our goblin cap. And, oh yeah, we'll just wear this stuff. Okay. Do I at least have pants here? No. So this is Wee Guy at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase the level 5 stuff here. So, the leather 5 eye patch for sure. And the leather j uh, it's level 10. Ah, uh, come on. Okay. Hemp and half robe. They're the robes. Here's a level 5 hemp and half robe. We'll wear that. And the gloves. What's level 5 here? These things. Leather light mitts. Okay. 
And I guess maybe the belt. Buy the letter belt. See, I understand I just sold most of this, but I'm okay with buying them again as long as I get... This looks good. And these two. Okay. Now, I want to see something, because they were... Yeah, okay, they're grayed out. They're level 5, but it's like a green level 5, making it look like maybe it'd be possible to wear it, but... Doesn't look to be the case. Okay, so we're going to Middle Lanosia, which is this way. I don't know if you guys can tell that I wasn't necessarily prepared to, <laughs> to record today. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place, but... I wanted to at least show you guys what I was doing here. And the next episode, you're most likely going to see me get back to the main story quest. I honestly just wanted to do a little bit of grinding off camera here, so... Um, I figured I might as well do it with the warrior, and we'll get ourselves... Uh, make use of some of this rested experience. Which also, by the way, is probably a, not necessarily the most efficient way to do it, because the rested experience just goes based on level. Um, so, you know, I think you can have uh, up to like five levels banked up, I think, or maybe it's two and a half levels banked up for rested experience, but when you... It doesn't matter if you're using that experience on a level 40 character or a level 1 character. Um, you'll, you'll burn through it much quicker on a lower level character is what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's smash some things with our axe. Boom! Look at that. Doesn't he just look like the most badass marauder you've ever seen in your life? Boom! Take that, wharf rat. It is pretty fun, though. I, I've had... Alright, killing two things increases our level. Pretty sweet. Actually, we should go fight these lambs. Foresight increases our defense. Alright, let's go. Fight me. Come on! Alright, we got one. I've always had kind of a uh, soft spot for the smaller classes. Like, you can hate on me all you want. When I played World of Warcraft, uh, one of my favorite characters I ever had was a gnome called Wee Guy. And I thought it was just so funny that he was a gnome warrior. So, like, a tiny little guy who was the main tank of the dungeon. And I just really enjoy that, actually. So, it's nice to come back and get a little bit of a taste of that. So, we are able to equip some abilities. Depending on how high our level, I think, we can equip, in this case, one ability from our other class. So we'll go ahead and take... Honestly, Invigorate is probably the one that we want. I don't need more defense. So we'll take Invigorate. And now we can put it on our hotbar. I think I had it on five before. I need a spot for Invigorate, but... Actually, that's where the mount is going to go, right? So we'll try it there for now. Sort of a random spot, but... It might work out. We're not going to need Invigorate for the near future anyway. Alright, so we'll continue to kill these things. Leveling up super quickly. The helmet we're wearing is giving us bonus experience as well, so... If you don't have access to the rested experience or the, uh, the hat like this, then... Honestly, you're just going to want to do... Leave quests pretty much over and over again. You can run out and do some fates as well. Doing fates is going to be a good way, as long as you are able to... Like, if you have a mount, then it's much quicker, because you can run on your mount from fate to fate. But sometimes you'll find yourself in an area where the fates just aren't showing up. There's one up there, but... I don't know. It's not always the most efficient way. But it does give you an option to break up the monotony, because one thing that does kind of suck about this game is leveling up a new class up to level 15. Just because it's, uh, it just takes so long, and it's, well, it doesn't take so long, but it's just leave quests, pretty much, over and over and over again. And they can be kind of annoying, but once you get there, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Man, I feel like we look like a little baby with... <laughs> With an axe just running. <laughs> Am I going to the right spot? Yeah, okay. So we'll turn this in and then we'll end this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I keep trying to say that I'm going to do shorter episodes. Where the hell are we? Oh, whoops. 
I did not even run to the right spot. For some reason, I just assumed that this was, uh, that was where Limbs of Limbs is, but I was wrong. Where are we going? Okay, there it is. Oh, you can even see it in the background. Wow. Yeah, see, my mind's just not really in, uh, present myself to the YouTube community type of mood right now, so... I'm gonna just try to get through this, and like I said, I've, I promised you guys shorter episodes over and over again, and then they end up just being long anyway, so. This one will actually be short. Ugh. I can already start to feel that it's getting like, a, it's, it's a little bit uncomfortably warm in here right now, and as this goes on, it's gonna get worse. Okay, so we'll turn this in, and then that'll do it. We'll be on our way to leveling up a Marauder. And I'll be doing this all in the background, just doing leave quests, doing fates. Once I hit level 15, that's technically the furthest that I, I really have to go to take this character um, as a Marauder. But I'm going to do some tanking and stuff, and you know I'm going to try to learn how to tank as a Marauder. And if I feel like I get pretty good at it, then who knows, maybe we'll have some... Uh, some more tanking guides coming out in the future. And then I'm going to do the same with the other classes. Like, I really enjoy the Conjurer as well. And actually, I despise leveling a Conjurer. The worst thing for me in this game is leveling a Conjurer from level 1 to 15. I absolutely cannot stand it. it going out and just using stone over and over again to try to, um, you know, just do the leave quests and things, I can't stand it. But... Once you hit level 15, healing in dungeons is something that I have a lot of fun doing as well. And I want to get to the point where I feel comfortable enough with it to maybe do some guides on that as well. Okay, so that's going to do it. So we are now on our way to becoming a Marauder. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little bit of a, uh, like I said, a sharp turn from the last episode. We will definitely get back into doing the uh the story quest in fact it'll most likely be the next episode unless something crazy happens with uh you know the marauder here that i really want to show you but i, I kind of doubt that so anyway i hope you guys are enjoying and we'll see you in the next one